Greetings, the Hot Sorcerer here, and today I'll be showing you how to make one of my favorite recipes. Spicy, cheesy, no need, easy to bake Dutch oven bread. Look at that, so squishy. For this recipe you'll need a cast iron Dutch oven pot, one towel, a couple of bowls, a measuring cup, spatula, silicone brush, some kind of knife, some parchment paper, and a tablespoon. You can find everything you need in the description below. You also need a cutting board, three jalapenos, if you really want to kick it up a notch, some habaneros, three and a half cups of bread flour, make sure it's bread flour, two and a half cups of sharp cheddar cheese, a packet of yeast, some salt, extra virgin olive oil. All right, let's get started. Step one, roughly chop two jalapenos. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, no, wait. just extra measure. Put them in a bowl. For your third jalapeno, make them into neat slices. You'll be putting these on top of the bread. Do the same with your habaneros. Yeah, I probably should be wearing gloves for this. For the first one, I just give it a rough chop. That'll be going inside the bread. And for the second, I'm gonna de-seed that. And slice into thin slices, thin rings, or whatever shape you want. Effectively clean up your cutting board. In your large mixing bowl, put two cups of bread flour. Make sure it makes that ding sound when you put it in there. Two cups of shredded cheese. Your chopped peppers. One tablespoon of salt. And give it a good mix. Just a rough mix will do. Myself on this shot. Give your workspace a good clean off. Should have done this before. In your second bowl, measure out two cups of warm water and throw in that yeast packet. Give it a good mix. Now combine everything into your large bowl and stir. Keep stirring. Keep stirring. Keep stirring. I like to do a little fold and stir, fold and stir, rotate the bowl, rotate the bowl, fold and stir, rotate the bowl, fold and stir. At this point, I'm gonna add a yeah, another cup, cup and a half of bread flour, just till it thickens up. See how it's getting sticky? Add the remaining bread flour for a total of three and a half cups. that spatula clean. Now with a warm cloth, cover it for one hour. Okay, after the hour, turn off your timer. Yeah, really turn off your timer. After an hour, it should about double in size. All right, back to work. Now we start mixing it up. Really turn off your cell phone this time. And Fold, rotate, fold, rotate, fold, rotate, fold, rotate, fold, rotate. And if you think you need to fold and rotate some more, keep going. Okay, cover it once more for 30 minutes. And now we're gonna preheat your Dutch oven. So set your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, of course, and bake your empty Dutch oven with the lid on for 30 minutes. Again, this should be happening while the bread is covered. Okay, after the half hour, uncover, get out some parchment paper, 
flower up your work surface and your hands. And what we're basically going to do is flower up that bread a little bit, roll it into a ball and slap it onto the parchment paper. Dump it all onto the flour. And as best you can, plop it onto that parchment paper. All right, now we're gonna take about a tablespoon of olive oil and just paint the top. Give it a nice, thin coating. I just dumped the stuff on there, who cares? All right, now give it a good dusting of the rest of your shredded cheese. And put the jalapeno slices on the top. No particular order. And maybe we'll put this one here. With a sharp knife, make a few cuts in the top. And now I put the habaneros on here. A little out of order. Eh, who cares? And now, carefully pull your Dutch oven out of the oven. Remember, everything is hot. Everything, including the top. Now, carefully pick up your bread and put it into the Dutch oven. And don't be like me and burn your fingers. All right, put the lid on. Bake with the lid on at 450 degrees for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take the lid off and bake for 20 more minutes. All right, after 20 minutes, your bread is done. Carefully pull the bread out by the parchment paper and put it on a cooling rack. I stupidly used a turkey baster rack, or turkey, turkey rack here. So my bread came out a little, eh, misshapen. And then I realized maybe I should put it on a flat surface. Yummy, yummy. I know you really want to cut it right now. But wait one hour. Yeah. And here's my crooked looking bread. And don't make the same mistake I do and cut right into your countertop. Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. Let's get a cutting board instead. The outside is so crispy, but the inside is so smushy. And despite the odd look and shape of this bread, it actually turned out pretty damn good. There you have it. Easy to bake, spicy, cheddary, no need Dutch oven bread. Mm. Mm. Thanks for watching.